top 10 Premier League upsets you can't miss. Arsenal humbles and humiliated. The Premier League is the most exciting league in world football, and it's for good reason. You can never predict what will happen. Sure, you know some teams will be fighting out up top and others at the bottom, but game to game, anybody can beat anybody. Here are 10 Premier League upsets you dare not miss. Kicking off is one of the biggest spankings of the 2022-2023 season. Liverpool 7, Man United 0. What? 2022-2023 had been unpredictable to say the least. Liverpool had been expected to challenge for a title, but were struggling to keep pace with European places. Man United may be expected a transitional period under Eric Ten Hag, but by the time the two sides met at Anfield, United were looking revitalized and had just won their first trophy since Jose was in town. But if you're a betting man, Liverpool had been seeing an upturn in form, but was still far from their best. Surely this was going to be a tight game that favored United. Um, no. Liverpool were a comfortable 1-0 up at halftime thanks to Cody Hakpo, one of the many forward signings fans weren't sold on. By the end of the game, it was 7-0 to Liverpool. Hakpo grabbed another, the unfairly maligned Darwin Nunez hitting two, Mo Salah hitting another two and one for Bobby Firmino. And on Sky Punditry, a painful night for Gary Neville and bragging rights for Jamie Carragher. Ouch. However, it's not always been fun and games for Liverpool. Let's take a look back to October 2020. Aston Villa 7, Liverpool 2. In this COVID-delayed season, an empty Villa Park watched an astonishing upset. Villa had narrowly scraped survival the season before, and Liverpool had won the league. Champions again! Villa had started the 2019-2020 season pretty well, whilst Liverpool were a little slow out the blocks. Still, most betting pundits would have fancied Liverpool to take all the points at a ground they love to play at. One thing no one expected was for Aston Villa to demolish the reigning champion 7-2. Ollie Watkins had yet to score for Villa in his first couple of games, but ended the match with a hat trick. Grealish hit two. McGinn and Ross Barkley, remember him, completed the scoring, with Mo Salah grabbing Liverpool's goals. That's insane. What about this? Southampton nil, Leicester City nine. Now on paper, Leicester beating Southampton may not sound that surprising. However, there's defeat and then there's an absolute thrashing. A 9-0 scoreline has been delivered on four occasions. And I'm sorry to say it, Saints fans, but your boys have been battered 9-0 on two occasions. Being beaten by Man United isn't quite as shocking as the Leicester win in October 2019. Worst of all, it was on the Saints' home turf. Ben Chilwell opened the scoring on 10 minutes, and Tielemans doubled the lead on 17. By this point, a comfortable win looked assured, but chucking a hat-trick from Ayoise Perez, a hat-trick from Jamie Vardy, and a James Madison goal, and it's a night that will haunt Saints fans forever. Sorry for the reminder, not sorry. Let's throw it right back to a major turning point in English football. Man United won, Man City 6. October 2011. Man City are cash rich now, making big signings, and they have a proven winner in Roberto Mancini at the helm. They've also got crazy Mario Balotelli getting into trouble on a weekly basis, too. Why always a Mario? Man United are still dominant, and Alex Ferguson was still in charge. Both sides went into the October game unbeaten and as the top two teams in the Premier League. Man United had a home advantage and a chance to put Man City in their place. A hotly contested game was expected, but nobody could have predicted a 6-1 schooling from City. Balotelli scored two and Aguero added another. Darren Fletcher pulled one back for Man United, and maybe their fans were hoping for a little Fergie-time magic. But alas, Jacko scored two more late goals and David Silva rubs salt in the wounds. Sorry, United fans, we're giving you a rough ride so far. Let's make it up to you. Man United 8, 
Arsenal 2. At this point in Premier League history, Man United were usually scrapping it out with Chelsea for the league title. Arsenal had slipped a little out of league contention by 2011. Though Wenger's Gooners weren't the force they were during the Henri era, it was still a shocking result to see Arsenal battered so mercilessly by Man United. Ironically, this came a couple months after City had already mauled United too. Danny Welbeck opened the scoring, Ashley Young hit a double, and Nani and Park got one each. The star of the game was Wayne Rooney, who destroyed Arsenal with the hat trick. The Gooners scored through Theo Walcott and Van Persie, but that's about as good as it got. Next up, the current and an ex-England boss do battle. Middlesbrough 8 and Man City 1. Man City's first flirtation with Megabucks came when Toxin Sinawat bought the club and had Sven Goran Eriksson as manager. Remember Alano, Rolando Bianchi, Giovanni, and Benjani? Nah, I didn't think so. Despite some big spending, Man City were still hovering around mid-table, whilst Middlesbrough had spent much of the season staring down at the drop zone. Still, despite Man City being erratic, no one expected Middlesbrough to fire eight past them. A crazy result saw Stuart Downing score twice, Brazilian striker Alfonso Alves hit a hat trick, Adam Johnson score, and Hokimbach and Alidia score two. Elano, one of the few half-decent Frank Shinawat era signings, scored for City. Now for a bigger surprise, this time on Pep's watch. Man City 2, Crystal Palace 3. It's tough to beat Pep Guardiola's Man City at the best of times. At the Etihad on a long, unbeaten stretch, it sounds impossible. But that's exactly what Crystal Palace did during the 2018-2019 season to reigning champions City. Palace, who haven't changed much, were a lower to mid-table team and probably viewed as easy pickings for a dominant pep side. They also hadn't beaten Man City on their home turf for 28 years. The game looked to be going as expected when City took the lead through Gundogan. Alice hit back in style though, taking a 3-1 lead thanks to Schlup, and lastly a Milivojevic penalty. The game is best remembered for Andros Townsend's 30-yard screamer. A flash of brilliance! City pulled one back, but Palace, under the wily Roy Hodgson, held on for dear life. Did someone say what? Well, what about Watford 3, Liverpool 0? Okay, Liverpool fans probably forgot about this one a long time ago, as it never derailed their runaway title charge. But having been impeccable all season, with a 22-point lead at the top of the table, the trip to relegation threatened Watford probably looked like an easy three points. But this is the Premier League, baby. There ain't no easy games. Watford had a day to remember in February 2020, as Ismail Sar scored twice, and Watford legend and shithouse specialist Troy Deeney added another. Deeney, in fact, battered the Liverpool back line. Talking of being battered, who remembers this one? Chelsea 2, West Brom 5. Chelsea were looking good under the new man Thomas Tuchel. He was unbeaten and relegation threatened West Brom arrived at the bridge and were expected to roll over and get their bellies tickled. It didn't happen. West Brom had struggled all season. They didn't score many and they also had the worst defense in the division. So you'd bet your mortgage that Chelsea's world-class starting 11 would boss them from the off. Uh, no. West Brom scored five in an insane game, which gave them hope of survival under rescue specialist Big Sam Allardyce. Matthias Pereira and Callum Robinson hit two each, and Mbai Dayane got the other for the baggies. But unfortunately, Big Sam's magic wore off pretty soon after that, and they got relegated. Another one to lose his powers was this clanger from the legendary Arsene Wenger. Arsenal 1, Hull City 2. Arsenal had been in a hotly contested title race for the previous season, finishing third behind Chelsea and winners Manchester United. So on their return season, gobbling up newly promoted Hull City should have been easy pickings, right? Wrong. 
Well, on a night to forget, which set the tone for an Arsenal side that got a reputation for not being able to kill off lesser teams, Giovanni sensationally scored for Hull, and much like his early time at Man City, he then faded away into the YouTube show reels. Daniel Cousé scored Hull's second goal and managed to stay up on the final day of the season in some dramatic fashion. Did we miss any? Stick it in the comments and let's keep the debate going.